Hi, it's great to see you on my channel. If that's the first time you're seeing me, I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury bag lover, collector, and I also own a consignment store and you can check out the link below to purchase all the bags that I'm reviewing today. So today is a very, very special edition of Bagaholic TV where I will review six speedy limited editions. You don't see this type of bags a lot on the streets, right? And uh, I just wanted to give you an understanding of um, which type of a limited edition Speedy you may like and uh, what is like the difference between them and what's actually the difference between a classic Speedy, classic Speedy in monogram and uh, all its limited editions. Let's start! <laughs> The first bag I want to share with you is this limited edition Speedy Mirage. As you may know, uh, Mark Jacobs, Louis Vuitton creative director, was the father of all the Speedy limited editions because he was the one who invited Steven Sprouse, the first designer to release the first Speedy limited edition to collaborate with Louis Vuitton. That was in 2001. And uh, then in 2007, well, one of the uh, limited edition versions uh, released during this year was this beautiful interpretation of classic monogram canvas with the canvas a little faded here and uh, a little a little bit of black here. The main difference from the uh, classic Speedy, well, as you may see it, was uh, the handle's de design and uh, the fact that this bag had no vachetta, so no problem with the leather, with the black handles. I would recommend this bag to anyone who likes the speedy, the shape, the style uh, of the bag. However, um, who wants an addition that would be carefree and uh, who loves black handles in particular because there are not that many limited editions uh, of a speedy with the black trims and black handles, uh, they're pretty hard to find because, well, everyone understands they don't require extra maintenance and uh, it will be easy to uh, wear, easy to take care of, and that's a really nice bag. By the way, this limited edition was released in two versions. One of them has black trims and handles and another one has Bordeaux handles. And to me, I, I, I'm not a big fan of black, so I really love the Bordeaux version, but we don't have it in stock, unfortunately. We have only this beauty. Next bag is Speedy Monogram Flash. It was released in 2008. Marc Jacobs was uh, still uh, Louis Vuitton's creative director. And uh, here's what you need to know. Uh, this bag was a very limited edition, if I may say so, because it was released for a particular exhibition uh, from Takashi Murakami, the painter who created the pattern. That was a special edition for his one of his exhibitions in the Museum of Art. So uh, that's a collectible item. That's a very coveted item, very expensive. Uh, that's one of the most expensive limited editions. And uh, you can find this bag at starting from 4K. That will be the lowest price you can find it for. Still everyone wants it because there are not that many bags left in the world with this pattern. So why not get it? This bag was only released in size 35. So you can find a smaller version if you are not a fan of 35. Um, but still, if you wanted to add something special to your collection and if you want to make a good investment that will probably grow with time, grow and increase with uh, time, then you might consider purchasing this bag. It has vachetta. As you may know, uh, Louis Vuitton can replace the whole vachetta. So if you find a bag and the canvas is in great condition, um, but the vachetta is like has stains or not that cute as you might want, then you may take off the vachetta at Louis Vuitton and they will replace it for you and the bag will still look like new. So that's a speedy limited edition monogram flash. Moving next, 2010, and here's a speedy fleur de jay. If you're like me and you love the um, sequins uh, all over 
the gowns or bags, then this bag is for you. It was only released in this size and this color, so that's a size 30 um, with black uh, flowers and black garden all over the monogram canvas. But here's what I wonder about this bag. That they made a leather trim, black leather trim here, and they made the uh, black leather trim on the sides. Why didn't they make the black handles? Well, maybe it looks a little bit more special like this with the uh, combination of black and white, well, pochetta leather. But uh, I would really, really prefer the, to have this bag with black handles because I could wear it um, and not care about the handles getting darker, which actually bothers me. That's a great bag and you may think that the sequins will fall apart and the bag will fall apart, uh, but uh, it's uh, not like this. They are fixed uh, very good here and uh, well, I haven't seen any problems with the sequins. If, you, um, if you're considering this bag, you should totally get it. It's beautiful, it's very, very special. It looks great for a red carpet. If you have red carpet events, then you should totally get this piece. If you don't, well, find them to get this piece. Moving next, here's another limited edition from 2012 that is called Golden Arrow Speedy. It does look very special, doesn't it, right? I really love the black leather because Black leather here is very, very firm. So you basically, you can't do anything to it. It's very similar to Chanel Caviar, if you know what I mean. Very firm leather and I haven't seen any type of wear uh, on this leather. No scratches, even stains because it's hard to put a stain on a black. And uh, here is the closure, by the way. I think it's interesting to see. And it does look like a nice doctor bag. Um, the, the canvas is very firm too, by the way. And uh, of all the limited editions that I showed you until now, I would really recommend you to get this version just because it, it seems to be, um, to have very high quality, very high quality. And if you've seen it in person, you know what I mean. If you haven't seen it, uh, well, you should, you should. I also love the uh, aged, I love gold, gold hardware, but uh, aged gold looks vintage and looks very, very special. I would really, really love to have a strap on it because I'm a crossbody girl and I don't wear um, handbags a lot. I prefer them to be a crossbody or at least to be flexible. Perfect bag for me is something that you can carry as a shoulder bag, as a crossbody and as a handbag. Like pochette medis, actually. If you haven't considered this bag, consider it if you're a fan of Speedy limited editions. And you should totally get it because I, I haven't heard about any type of issues. Beautiful bag, carefree, high quality and a great price actually because this bag goes for less than 2k there are many limited editions out for you but that's uh, something that you should totally get because it's recognizable with monogram canvas you can wear it whenever you want to and that's one of my favorite limited edition. Here's a very special bag that's a paillette speedy from the 2013 fall winter collection and it's special mainly because you don't see a lot of limited editions for the Dambier Eben canvas. And if you are a fan of this print, then grab this beauty. And here's why. It doesn't have leather, I mean pochetta leather, which is a huge advantage for me, of course. It was released in three colors, black, bordeaux and blue. Um, to me, bordeaux and blue are the most beautiful colors on this bag, on this particular bag. And uh, here uh, you, you can see the Speedy. Well, it's the size and shape and, and handles of a classic Speedy. Basically, um, the only difference that is the, the color and the paillettes. And again, you may think that we uh, the sequins will fall off, uh, but it's not like that. Actually, each square has three times more sequins because there are three sequins in each of the um, parts of the square, right? 
and uh, so they will not fall off and the bag will still be beautiful. Another objection to this bag that I heard was that uh, the sequins will tear off the handles from the uh, blouse or well, any clothing part and it's not like that. They're fixed very plainly and you can touch the bag and it feels pretty plain. I wouldn't recommend wear silk with this bag anyway but uh, you may be sure that uh, it will not hurt your valuable belongings. And uh, inside it's also blue. I'm not going to show because it's stuffed. It's a very beautiful color. It's reinterpretation of Dambier um, canvas. It doesn't have feet, uh, by the way. And that's one of the most beautiful Speedy limited editions. If you are a collector, you should totally get this item because there is no other item that it's that special as Speedy Payettes. In the beginning of this video, I promised you to review six limited edition Speedies and I lied because the sixth bag that I have is not a limited edition Speedy. However, it could have actually totally been a limited edition Speedy. It's called a Sofia Coppola, by the way. And uh, it was also released in several colors uh, in luxurious uh, leather uh, from Louis Vuitton. It was only released as a crossbody, so it's more like a speedy bandoulier. It's very luxurious and beautiful. If you ever get an opportunity to touch this bag, you will feel a soft, soft leather and each de detail of this bag is luxurious. Just take a look at the lock. I love when a lock looks like this. It's, it reminds me of uh, Hermes, Alligator or Ostrich. Uh, bags. It does look very, very special. In the previous videos, I told you that I'm not a fan of classic monogram leather because it screams LV and I love something that whispers and uh, that's totally a bag for my taste because there is only one Louis Vuitton embossing here. Well, there are actually some on the uh, hardware, but uh, overall that's a, just a luxurious leather bag in the shape of the Speedy and uh, that looks great, that looks awesome and that I'm totally in love with. That bag was very expensive, guys. I can tell you when it was released, it retailed for um, like 4,000, I guess, over 4,000 uh, US dollars. And it, it's a lot, right? When you can get a classic version of Speedy for 1K, why spend 4K on a leather bag, right? But if you're a fan of pre-loved items, Sandy, if you're a fan of deals, then you can find this bag as low as, well, lower than 2K actually. It can be 1,700, 800, 900, um, but uh, still you can find a great deal on this bag. And that's, uh, we are having a great deal on this bag. So check out the website uh, below to learn the price on this beauty. And I can tell you that it has the lowest price ever you can find it for. So check it out. All right, guys, that was a list of Speedy limited editions. If I only had to pick one, that would be extremely hard for me. Between two bags, I would pick this one just because it doesn't have Vachetta. I really love the Speedy Golden Arrow and between this one, I would be totally torn because I want them both. And these are very different items that you should have in your collection, will last long, and much longer than any new modern limited editions. And then with this bag, you can't not get it if you have an opportunity and if there is a great deal. If you ever see it lower than 4K, that's an impossible deal. Grab it and run, run very fast. And with Sofia Coppola, that's a luxurious piece. And uh, if you're a fan of these pieces, then get this back. I hope this review helped you find a great um, limited edition that suits your needs better, best actually. And uh, I know we don't have a popular uh, limited editions in stock like Speedy uh, Roses or Speedy Aquarelle, but uh, we will have them eventually. And maybe this Speedy limited editions are less popular, which doesn't make them 
worth. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed it, click like and subscribe to the channel and also check out the list of the bags we currently have in stock by clicking the link to alvibagaholic.com. Thank you and bye.